You can set up a farm in just 5 minutes on Hypixel Skyblock and if you're wondering how to get garden level fast alongside how to get copper quickly, what to buy at Skymart, what gear to use, what tools to use, everything about farming is gonna be in this video. Alright, first up, how to set up a farm quickly. Firstly, you wanna enter to the desk at the Skymark, you can check out the configure plots. Right here, when you, for instance, uh, unlock one of the plots, right now already got a couple of plots. The first ones are going to be pretty cheap, but some of them are going to be slightly more expensive. The further down you go, the more expensive it is. But it's going to cost you compost, which you can get right here at the composter. And all you got to do is drop in your crops right here. You can even put like enchanted uh, sugar, whatever it may be. And make sure it also has biofuel in here. And make sure that it's always full because this compost collector can collect as much compost as you want. But once you have enough compost, you can go ahead and press configure plots. So let's unlock this one right here. And the next step you gotta do is clean it up. Now the first plots like very close to the barn are very easy to clean. But the further down you go, it gets a lot more difficult. As you can see on this plot, we would need to clean out the trees all these grass leaves and also the stone now the best way to get rid of the stone is actually using a stone pickaxe but what's really good is that you don't have to do it all the way but uh, yeah, you can see the cleanup bar above your coins. Once it's fully cleaned up, you can go back to the configure plots. It's going to notify you when, once it's clean, but uh, I'm not going to clean it up right now. Anyways, when you're here, you can choose which crop you want. Now, depending on your garden level, you're going to have more crops available. But let's say if we want to do carrot, then you want to click on from bazaar and then paste it. And it's going to start printing it automatically. Now, the first plots to clean up, it only takes you maybe like... Like three minutes maximum so this means that you can have a full farm set up whichever crop you want whether it's pumpkin melon sugarcane wheat uh, carrot whatever it may be it will literally take you only five minutes to set up the farm oh and one quick bonus tip how to clean it up faster is well you first to get Sam's site for free but you can spend 20 copper for the garden site but this is gonna bring us to the next point on the shop every now and then new npcs come right here and if you talk to them you can go ahead and trade with them and this way you can get copper and as you can see this guy is actually gonna give us insane amount of copper but for that we're gonna need enchanted pumpkin and 549 of it which is pretty expensive but to, to be honest the easiest way to do it is just go to the bazaar purchase instantly and then boom thank you for the copper my friend but as you can see, you can see how fast it comes from the visitor's logbook. And the next visitor is going to be actually in 30 seconds already, which is perfect. So we just almost missed out on this guy. But it comes every 15 minutes, but you can make it a lot faster. And this is simply by farming. The more farming you're going to be doing, the faster they're going to show up, which is perfect. So we can get this time down by quite a bit look at this boom next visitor is already here and the more we farm the faster it's gonna be and you can check it in your uh like tab list which is pretty nice oh and the more trades you can actually do you can actually go ahead and upgrade your equipment now this is the next topic what should be your priority at the skymart shop now personally i think most of these items are somewhat pointless like the barn skins of course they look cool but at first i feel like you should definitely get the lotus bracelet then the lotus belt then the lotus necklace and then the lotus cloak am i even saying it correctly but anyways we're gonna go ahead and buy the last piece because that's the one we're missing boom and then you do slash equipment and we're gonna go ahead and drop it in there once you have the full set as you can see well it's gonna give you more farming fortune which is lovely now, to be honest, nothing else is that important besides also Sunder, which is a brand new book. Now, the maximum level you can get this book to is level 5, which means that you can gain, again, a lot more farming fortune. With this update, a lot of farming fortune is coming in, which means there's also a new farmer that gives you a bit more farming fortune. And right now, I am using the Crappie Armor. Now, if we have the full set on, we have the full... A squash buckle which is very interesting because when we are gonna be farming pumpkins we can get a brand new item called squash 
And as you can see, this has made me... How much money is that? 20 million. And I think I farmed like maybe... I don't know how long I farmed, but they come pretty quick actually. So you can definitely make a lot of farm. Oh, there we go. We actually just got one squash. Let's quickly sell it. Now, of course, this price is going to be dropping down by quite a bit since the update came out recently. But you also might be wondering, how the heck do you actually get Pumpkin Dicer free? Well, it's actually an upgraded version of the Pumpkin Dicer. And all you need is polished pumpkins for it. And I think in total you need like... 32 pump polished pumpkin dicers something along the lines and of course you can put the sander on it as well for even more farming fortune right now my farming fortune is about 604 but i know that we can definitely increase it if we get sander 5 on it and of course what pets should we actually be using now i'm personally right now using the elephant pet but if your farming level is below level 60 in that case you want to make sure that you use the rabbit pet to make sure that you're getting a lot more farming xp if you're wondering what is this crappie armor, well this is a brand new armor set and there's actually a version before that and you should be maybe more or less familiar with that and that is the melon armor. Now this set you should definitely get because you can get crappies while farming wheat, carrot and potatoes. Now crappies used to be quite valuable and I think... Uh, over time it's gonna be dropping in price but right now each crappie goes for about 400,000 but once you do manage to get a crappie you can see that you can actually make the crappie armor which is somewhat expensive but it's definitely worth it because you can get the squash now once you get squash you can see that there is also squash armor and in that case if you're gonna be farming sugarcane cactus mushroom and nether wart well, you can get Fermento. Now, Fermento is another armor. I'm gonna do it for the content. Oh, 20 million. Okay. Anyways, uh, from that, you can get Condensed Fermento. Cool. I just spent 20 million just to tell you that you can get that. Now, when we talk about tools, well, the same good old tools are still the best. So, in this case, if you want to farm sugarcane, you want to get the sugarcane hoe. And if you're gonna do pumpkins, get the pumpkin dicer. If you can upgrade it to 3.0, that's perfect because that's the CEO of Pumpkin Dicer LLC. And you get the drill. All of these are actually on the Anita's shop. And actually there is a brand new item at the Anita's shop. Now when we enter the Anita's shop, then as you can see, we have hole of the greatest drilling or tilling but now to the big question on how to get garden levels fast and it's actually extremely easy in about three or four hours i managed to get my garden level halfway to level eight but i'll show you the fastest way to actually do it the best way to get garden levels honestly is by farming <laughs> yeah that might be shocking but indeed farming however what you want to do is swap out between farms and i would recommend maybe go with pumpkin tier 10 carrot tier 10 everything tier 10 and look at this look how much garden levels we're right now getting we just switched to melon and just like this we got 10 30 60 100 150 garden experience it just in a matter of seconds and boom, uh, now we have like 200, over 200 garden experience in literally less than a minute. So yeah, switch out between farms. This will actually help out and then keep on farming and this will get your garden level out up a lot. So look at this. We're almost level eight now and that took us actually not that close to level eight, but you get the point. But if you come back to the Sky Mart or the desk and you go to the garden milestone, you can see the crop milestones to keep track of and you can see which one like for instance potato I haven't done so I could quickly do a little bit of potato boom it's gonna give us a lot of gardening experience so definitely work on that and the more garden levels you're gonna get obviously the more crops you're gonna be unlocking so make sure that you set up one of each kind sooner or later because this way you can definitely get quick garden experience. I seriously like the fact that you don't fully have to clean up for it to be clean and the bonus tip is if you're not familiar with community shop account profile upgrades, you can actually go ahead and now do garden farming fortune here as well. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you could take a moment to drop a like and subscribe, that would mean a lot.